What's up? It's the city girls. Love First TV, Summer Jam 2022, Headliner. Boom! Love First TV, you heard? Back in the game. Y'all already know, it's your boy K the Don. We got Natika. And yes, the champ is here with some keys to success. But first, make sure you like and subscribe. And then also, shout out to Manscaped. If y'all need 20% off, you know what I'm saying? And, and want to make your females happy. Or if you're a female and you want to be happy, get them in that discount. I can use it too. It's right there in the description. You heard that? Look, look, and I think it said, yeah. 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 Go tap got, that. That's a yeah. woman saying that, so tap in. Yeah. Look at my hairy arms. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody keys, right? So it's, it's going down. Um, speaking of keys to success, right? Yes. You are, um, I like the way, wait, how did you say savvy? Savvy. 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 I like that. that that's, Very that's, savvy that's, that's on the side. Savvy. Ducé. Very, <laughs> ducé. <laughs> Very savvy on um, marketing and advertisement. Can, um, well, first let's start off, what, um, what areas do you market in and advertise in? And then what are important keys when it comes to marketing and advertising a brand? So, first of all, I'm the director of marketing and advertising for YKTV Magazine, which is the number one brand in prison entertainment across the country. Fire. Number one. Number one. Hands down. Uh, shout out to Mr. Gyro. Mm -hmm. um, the keys of marketing and advertising is making sure that you connect with your demographic to the point where you're all they want. Mm. And one of the ways you do that is, like I said before off the record, was nostalgia. Yes. Something that's reminiscent, mm. right? Something that we know that people love, right? Major key. Mm -hmm. Major killer, mm -hmm. right? So whether it's something, a smell, like even our t-shirts, right? Yeah. Like with uh, Hustling is a Virtual, our t-shirts have a certain smell to it. Yes. That may remind you of something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it has a smell to it too? I thought it was yeah, just name out there. It has a smell wait, to so it. So is my shirt going to smell like carrot cake? No, it's not gonna smell oh, like carrot cake. Oh man! Because every Thanks some people are allergic it. to carrot cake, so we try to we try to keep it universal <laughs> you got in you, its yeah. appeal. But I'm just using an example. Mm -hmm. But overall, one of the things I learned is in marketing and uh, advertising is that it has to connect with something. Yes. Right. So you can have a cup, right? Yeah. The cup could be red, mm -hmm. right? But maybe it says "Grandma" on it, mm. right? That's a connection right there. Yeah. Right? Because everybody remembers their love grandma. Love my grandma. Right? I love my grandma. Shout exactly. out to my grandma. Abuelita. Shout out to the grandmas Shout out there. Shout out to the abuelas. Yes, abuelas. All over the world, right? See. Sí. Um, so it's about connecting. That's number one. Number two is understanding the psychology mm. of it, how people move, how people think, how people work. When you have a certain brand, it has to connect specifically to who you're selling or you're not gonna make any money. Mm. Right. You're not gonna make any money. Targeting demographics, stop going for just everybody, but target right. your demographics. Yeah. Exactly, that's that's very, very important. I read a book, what changed my way of thinking in marketing was a book I read called Contagious, mm. right? I forgot the author's name, but Contagious had uh, something called Steps, right? Mm -hmm. S-T-E-P-P-S, mm. right? And Steps was an acronym. Yeah. It meant story, trauma, emotion, um, product. I forgot what the other P and the S was for, but essentially it encompassed everything that has to deal with marketing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and if yeah. you tap into it, so for instance, people love to buy stuff that's exclusive, right? Uh, yeah. You see a lot of people in our culture that buy into Valenciaga, mm -hmm. Dior, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of European brands, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And the price tags are, are nuts. Nuts. I would never buy any of this stuff. I won't promote it. I refuse. They got to give it to us for free if they want us to promote it, right? <laughs> they got exactly. another promotion. And they pay us, you know? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because they like to tap into the black culture, mm -hmm. right? Because they know we're the biggest spenders yeah. on earth. So one thing that I, I realized is that when you have something and it's limited, mm -hmm. people buy into it. Yeah. If you took that shirt that you got on right there, yeah. right? And you said, yo, I only got 10 of these available. Only 10. It's the Cater Dawn Special Edition. It's premium. 
You put those certain keywords on it, uh, sale, premium, uh, exclusive, uh, right? Those words have a vibration. They do. Right? Ah, uh, yes. So next thing you know, people are tapping in. Yes. They're going yes. on your gram, they're going on your YouTube, they're going on your, your, your Shopify store, whatever mm. it is. And they're like, yo, I got to buy this because it's only 10 available. Yes. How yes. you think Kanye got so big? Fire, yep. You understand? So those are just like a few of the keys. There's many, many more. I'm not going to go... You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just got those keys. No, but that makes yeah. a lot of sense. It, it does. Yeah. Like I think about how um how Kanye West released the album uh, was it Donda or Donda Two or something? Donda Two, and he released it on his on, own platform. On, on his player. own platform, mm -hmm. on a player, and he only had two hundred of those. Right. And he made like millions of dollars. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but yeah. like he has a super loyal fan base. Right. You know? He's he's definitely controversial, but people bought his player. Absolutely, but he also shifted the the way that we buy to an extent because him as a black man, he was able to take the power away from the bigger institutions. Right? He was able to say fuck Adidas. Right. Right. Forget all of these other brands. I'm creating my own brand. I'm creating my own streaming platform. I respect it. Mm -hmm. Because now it makes me say, oh, I could do that too. Yeah. And that's yeah. his whole thing. It's inspiring people to step out of the right. slave mentality in the, in the institution. Yes, yes. You understand? That's what we got to do. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, that's that's a major key. And even what you said too um, about like words and vibrations, um, you know, actually behind the scenes, shouts out to Stax again, right? Stax Griller in the building. <laughs> Get uh, off your phone, Stax. <laughs> Make sure you Stacks on Stax. If these camera angles look good, it's because of him. If it don't, then it's because of him. No. <laughs> 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 but, um, <laughs> but no, we were, you know, we were talking about music schools that we went to. And I went for something completely different. But when they taught me about frequency and vibrations, I was like, yo, this is what I'm here for. Like, there's so much power in frequency and vibrations, which is sound, which is your words. So when you say the, you know, certain things vibrate and resonate, it's so real, man. I hope y'all really dive into it. And even just the type of keywords you were saying to use and, and how they vibrate. And even me personally, like, I always speak positive affirmations to speak success. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm spiritual and that's elevate me. I even, like, it's crazy, like, I try to do it like every day, but like now it's some flashy stuff. Like I don't, I don't ever post it, but like I just count up like the, like just some money on the side to always just count up, right? Just to like have that feel, that vibration. Like let's go get it. You know what I mean? Whatever my highest bank statement was, the receipt and these pictures, I keep it to look at it. Like yo, this is what we doing. This is where we go. You know what I mean? Right, right. And those things vibrate and resonate. So, so I, I just wanted to to say this, right? So since I came home from prison last year, May, I've been able to tap into a certain frequency, right? So we look at frequency like how AM, FM radio is, right? Yes, right. Yes. There's a certain uh, frequency of music mm -hmm. that's on one uh, plane, yeah, we'll yeah. say, right? And there's another frequency of information that's on another plane. Mm -hmm. You notice the difference between AM and, and FM, right? Definitely. So the way I always tell brothers, especially younger brothers, that's coming up in business and stuff like that is like, AM is always considered a lower frequency. Right. Mm -hmm. FM is always the fi the higher frequency, yeah. right? So we're vibrating on a higher frequency. Yeah. Because we're all in this room. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm and honored. And this, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And and, and I love for that the, the fact that you guys are here. But by us vibrating on a higher frequency, it allows us in certain rooms that people in the AM frequency can't get in. A hundred percent. Yeah, I right? believe in vibes. Like, like if somebody gives off of a bad vibe, like there's no explaining. You just feel it. You know, yeah, off the rip. Off, off the exactly. rip. Exactly. You can't explain it. You just like I don't know. There's just something off about them. You know. Yeah, and it throws off your energy. Right. Like if any of my brothers that came in this room was was having a certain vibration, I would know it off the rip. Right. Mm -hmm. But their vibrations are great. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. it allows us to be comfortable. Allows us to talk and and do what we got to do. Yeah. But. If there was somebody that came in here, like, I ain't going to mention no names, but if yeah, there was yeah. a certain person that came in here, I'd be like, we got to cut this short. Mm -hmm. They got to go. Yeah. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? So us being able to tap into that frequency, we're constantly elevating. Yes. That's the thing. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So that's that's what we got to do. And, and and I'm with you on that. Like, And, and you know, the crazy part is... Like FM AM, I, I, love, I love that analogy that you use because as far as... When you get to the FM level, mm -hmm. 
the AM people will start fading away because it just don't make sense with your energy. And right. then you have craving for FM and then you attract it and then you're surrounded by it. Because right. I look back one day like, wow. Like, I didn't use the exact words, but when I look at it now, it's like, I'm surrounded by a lot of people with FM energy. Right. You know what I mean? It, like, that the AM is not there. And it's more than what you particularly have at the moment, but it's more of what your mindset is. You know right. what I mean? Do you tell yourself, I'm trying to get it or I'm going to go get it? Right. Do you tell yourself, I can do it or I can do it? Right. You know what I mean? And that's the vibration. That's yeah. the energy. That's, yeah. I'm going to get it done. You know, I set that goal. I plan to accomplish that. Exactly. You know? There's, there's a Rick Ross quote that I stay using that I really apply to my life. And, and it's so real. I'm not trying to get it fast. I'm trying to do it right. Mm. I don't care if it takes a year, if it takes 10 years. I just don't want to waste time. Absolutely. As long as I'm with people that aren't wasting time, right? I don't care how long it takes. I can yeah. be patient. I don't have time for the people that are wasting time. So they might be like, you're impatient. No, I'm not impatient. As long as we're not wasting time, we can keep going. But when right. you're wasting time... I'm sorry. Right. right. You know? I mean, we were talking about this earlier, like like releasing music or music that's already released. Like mm -hmm. it will come in due time. And, mm -hmm. and like I had mentioned to you about that Kate Bush song, Running Up the Hill. Like yes. that song was released 37 years ago and right. it did its thing. It had its run when it came out. And then it recently resurfaced because of Stranger Things season four. That's my mm. show. Yeah. I'm oh my God, no spoilers show. because I have not caught up. I haven't Holy seen shit. it. I don't I have, know. I haven't seen but it yet. Like, but like that's shows. an example of, of something that like it, it in due time, it mm. had its moment. Yes. And in this case, again, yes. had its moment. So like the, sometimes I think like, man, I really wish that certain things just come out sooner. But no, no, you just got to trust the process. Let me tell y'all something, right? I'm going to I'm gonna share a quick story with y'all, right? Yeah. So... Shout out to YNVS Shampoo, mm. right? That's my guy. He's, one of my, he's one of my sensations. Super well. too. Do, word, does, word. He make, does he make shampoo? Nah, he's oh, just man. he's just so washy and, and wishy like that. Like he's like he, sudsy. Yo. Yeah, yeah, he's sudsy. He, he, he'll clean he makes you right success up. happen though. That yeah. guy, man, in the industry, that yeah. guy is, is yeah. That's my guy, and he, he and nice he, and fresh. Mm -hmm. That's a fact, and he uh, you know. Shout out to him because he he seen the potential in me. He took me under the wing and said, "Yo, I'm gonna show you the game, right?" Mm. Um, especially a formerly incarcerated individual. Yeah. So real quick, one of the sayings he always say to me is, "Yo, Chin, I'm gonna take you to the water where the fish are at, mm -hmm. but you gotta catch the fish." Mm. You always say that to me. I'll be like, "All right, cool, I got you," but it actually came to manifestation at Summer Gym. Yes. Right. Yeah. So funny story is. Uh, I meet Shampoo early in the morning, uh -huh. right? I meet him at his crib. Uh, we pack the trucks up. He like, yo, we going to Summer Jam. All right, cool. We head over there. We make a bunch of runs, a bunch of stops. We get to Summer Jam. We go in the parking lot. I'm in the parking lot all day. Literally from like 9 in the morning to like 6 p.m. at night. Damn. We in the parking lot because he's, he's doing work, right? Yeah, he yeah. was hired by Def Jam to do certain things. Cool. Mm -hmm. But I'm there. So 6 p.m. comes. He's like, yo, I'm not going in there right now but you can go in there, here's your ticket. Boom. Mm -hmm. I take the ticket. I'm like, all right, cool. Put it in my pocket. I spin off. I go to the, <clears throat> the artist entrance. Mm -hmm. They dub me. Say, you can't get in here. You're not an artist. You don't have the VIP loft, you know, tag and all this other bullshit. All right, mm -hmm. cool. So I said, let me look at this fucking ticket, man. Yeah. <laughs> and the ticket says general admissions. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck? I'm somebody too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, yeah. You know, you start, you, you know, my ego, so the ego is fragile, uh -huh. especially for us men. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, anyway, I go to the the general missions. I get in or whatever. Now I'm in lion mode. Yeah. Right. I'm not thinking about nothing that shampoo said. I'm just like I'm in lion mode. Yeah. I need to connect with who I need to connect with to build my social capital. Yes. That's it. That's all that's on my mind. Yes. So there were certain places I get I couldn't get into right mm -hmm. because I had that that general admissions ticket. Yeah, Meaning, yeah. go sit your ass over there and watch the fucking show. <laughs> yes, right? yes. I refuse to believe that. I, I, I refused it, mm -hmm. right? Vibration. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into every detail, but I go from getting my way into the VIP loft area, Yeah. right? Getting, getting into a, a certain area where nobody else, where other people can get into, but they had a certain pass. I get into the VIP loft area, I mingle, I do what I do. I get backstage for a couple of minutes, meet certain artists that I know, certain ones I didn't know, building social capital again. Then I get to the suite. 
And when I get to the suite upstairs, guess who's in the next suite next door? Shampoo. Mm. Yeah. I, I take a video of shampoo. I love that. Yeah. I send it to him like I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes crazy. Yo, yo, you made it. You got the lesson. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> By this time, I'm like, it's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm dead tired. Fabio just finished fucking performing. I'm dead tired. So I'm like, yeah. the fuck, man? Was he, he testing you? That's what it was. It was a, it was a sensei Fire. lesson. Fire. It was a lesson. Like, these are the vibrations that the people I'm around are, are he on. He was like, yes. wax on, wax He was off. like, yo, you're, basically, you're going to find your way. If yes. you're that hungry, you're going to find your way. Mm -hmm. You can't expect somebody to take your hand and drag you around everywhere. Yeah. yeah. You got to find your way. Mm -hmm. And I essentially found my way. I was in the suite with Def Jam executives. Yes. And then I was right there with Shampoo. And Shampoo was like, you good. Mm -hmm. Salud. Yes. Have a drink. Yes, you understand? Yes, so I just yes. say that to say, just moving forward, I just want to say that you got to work. You can't expect any handouts. For real. You have to work. And I literally seen Shampoo handing out picket signs for Free Young Thug, Free Young Gunner, mm -hmm. telling his whole team what they need to do, yes. jumping in his car, going back in the stadium, coming back out, working just as hard as they were working. Yes, yes. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the keys in this shit. It's not easy and it's not free. Yeah, 100%. You gotta put the work in. Major key, it's not easy, it's not free. You can't avoid the work. Like, and what I notice even with myself or what I see in general is like certain people will try to attach themselves to a situation like oh as long as i'd be attached to the situation i'm gonna just get in no, no. it's you no. you gonna have to put the work no. in no you won't make yeah. it no nope. you won't make it you know that's a fact what what would you say to someone who's like socially awkward and maybe i'm like calling myself out but like <laughs> <laughs> you talking so, about yourself <laughs> so i'm asking like, about a friend <laughs> asking, <laughs> for a friend totally not me um but like someone who is like socially awkward can kind of feel like they're a little suffocated in situations where where there's a lot of people but like how would i say this like not necessarily draw attention to yourself negatively but how can you get someone to sort of get out of their shell and make themselves notice not hungry enough ay, ay, ay. Mm. let me Woo! ask you something okay. if you were on a, a deserted do. island yeah. This is the mindset that you have to have, mama. Okay. You on a deserted island. Mm -hmm. Ain't no boats around. Ain't nobody there to fucking help you. What are you going to do? I'm probably going to have to fish. Right. You're going to have to find your way. Yeah. Right? So that's, that's what I said earlier. That's the difference between us who have been incarcerated and a regular civilian. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that not every civilian. All right? But us that have been incarcerated, we're hungry. We want it so bad because it's been taken away from us. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to hone in on that characteristic. You may have not been born with it. It may not be intuitive. Mm -hmm. But you have to learn how to hone in on it because just you're human just like anybody else. Yeah. The same way he did it, the way I did it, the way Jay-Z did it, we can all do the same thing. Yeah. They sit down and shit just like we do. Mm -hmm. So why can't you do it? Okay. Right? You I, have to get over that fear. Don't let fear drive you. Right. Your, your hunger has to overpower your fear. I mean, Absolutely. like, like somehow I've stumbled into certain situations where I've been like, oh, I don't even know if I deserve to be here. You know what I mean? And that's the problem right there is your doubt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're bringing doubt into the picture. Mm -hmm. Doubt is the... Doubt is the, the, the... What's the word I'm looking for? Is the companion... A fear. Yeah. Right. As soon as you put that thought of doubt in your head, it's over. Yeah. I'll give you a, a quick example, right? Mm -hmm. Three feet away from gold, mm -hmm. Napoleon Hill, right? Mm -hmm. And thinking grow rich, mm -hmm. right? A man spends all his savings, all his money to go and dig into a cave where he hears that there's gold. Yeah. For years, he digged into that cave, digged into that cave, right? And then he finally gave up. Because he said, maybe it's, this, is, this isn't for me. That's the doubt mm -hmm. in uh -huh. your head. Maybe this isn't for me. It's not going to work. He leaves all his tools. I mean, he sells all his tools to somebody else. He says, I give up. I'm done. Walks away. The next person that buys his tools digs for one week and finds everything that he was looking for, all the work in, mm -hmm. that he put in for years. For real. Major key alert. And I, I want y'all to know, when I say major key alert, that means pull out your phone, pull out a notepad. 
Write down a note for that. And guess what? If you don't, when I edit this footage, I say major key alert so I know to write <laughs> that, down if I know your, That's your audio cue. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's my cue. So I'm trying to give y'all the cue because that's my cue. And that inspires me to give a, a, a testimony too. You know, as far as doubt, fear, and hunger, uh, when I went to Summer Gym, I had all, all these passes. I had more passes for Summer Gym than people ready to be there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I kind of found out last minute, so that's what we're going to tell certain people. So, <laughs> so <you know? laughs> but I had um, a camera guy that was supposed to come, and emergency situation happened, and everything was last minute. You know what I mean? So I, I couldn't stress it. But I basically found out when I got to the venue, the camera guy couldn't make it. Okay. Right? And instead of being like, I can't do the job that I'm here for, it's not going to get done, because I knew what I wanted to get done. Instead of being like, I'm not gonna, it's not going to happen, I'm praying, well, look, God, you do everything for a reason. So I'm sitting in VIP with my peoples. There's a guy just chilling with a camera. And I said to my peoples, I was like, yo, you see that guy right there? I'm about to network with him. We're going to do some filming. <laughs> they just started laughing. I was like, yo, I'm dead serious. <laughs> yo, I talked to this man, and I was like, yo, you know, what did you do? He was like, he was uh, filming on the smaller stages, right? I was like, well, I got some passes. We could go behind the scenes of this stuff. I want to get this footage. He's like, yeah, I'll rock with you, da da da. So you got get, some dope footage, by the yo, way. Yo, yeah, it's a blessing. Yeah, I bring him back, to, and it's all meant to be. I bring him back. To, so, and 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 mind you, in that moment, I could have been like, I don't have the camera guy. I don't, I can't get it done. Let me just focus on something else. And I was like, nah, there's a reason. Yeah, I just don't understand it. Let me figure it out. Oh, this person's sitting here with a camera. You know what I mean? So we get backstage. I know a lot of people, you know, blessed. You know what I mean? Like, even you say you talk to some industry people, they gave you good reviews about me. That's a blessing. That's all I can right, say. Right. I went back there. This camera guy knew more people than me. Mm. There you go. Because you got next to some people, bro. So some people, I've seen that. Shout, yo, shout out, <laughs> yo. Shout out, you know, like, F Fabio, City Girls, French, and and all of them for, for showing the love and, and endorsing, you know, what we have going on. Like, it, it's such a blessing. I remember somebody's like, oh, you're so lucky to be around. No, no, it's not luck. Not at all. You know what I mean? Because we're all the, the same people. That I got knowledge for them. They got knowledge for me. You know what I mean? At the same thing. And this is meant to be. It's mm -hmm. a blessing. There's a exactly. difference between blessing and luck. Luck is like you stumbled upon it just happened. Blessing means it's consistently going to keep happening. Right. right. After we do this, it's going to happen again. This right. is not like a one-time luck thing. You know what I mean? So just having that faith. And... Even with the, and I don't want to talk about my camera guy. They got different things going on, you know what I mean? But shout out to NOE, because he was there. But even the situation today, where the cameraman couldn't make it, different person. And everyone has their personal life, so never upset with that. But I'm like, God, what do you, you know, we got to get this done. This is an opportunity I'm excited about. I call him up. He's like, yo, we, we got cameras in the studio. Boom, so we, they literally have more cameras than we was probably going to bring with the film crew. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it really worked out. It's just a testimony of vibration, having the faith and, and the hunger, like walking into the water and drowning and, and how you want to breathe when you're drowning. When you want success, like you want to breathe air. You know what I'm saying? Nothing can stop you. That's like, even fact. when I messaged you about, like, some of the stuff going on, I was just like, I'm going to get it done. If we got to do it this way or that way, yeah. we're going to get it. Dude, and I was scrambling to find a cameraman for you, and, <laughs> and I was I, like, oh. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and and certain people end up hitting me after the fact, like, yo, I got one for you. Da, da, da. I was like, look, we good. Our situation's good. You know what I mean? But it was just the point of nothing. I don't have excuses. We're right. not here to bring excuses to the table. You know what I'm saying? It's just straight action. That's what we vibrate. That's what we're here for a reason. God didn't bring us this far to fail. And there's a lot of people, like you said, they stopped digging in the tunnel. They put in some groundwork. Yeah. They stopped digging. Right. And guess what? Someone else is getting all those jewels. They're like, well, you stop. Well, let me dig here. That's a fact. Oh, snap. I just spent one hour. I got everything you dig for. That's a fact. You know what I mean? So, so just, to, just to add on to your point, right? Yeah. So... Hindsight is twenty twenty, right? We don't. A lot of times we don't see what what's happening and why it's happening in the moment, mm -hmm. right? But the universe and God, you know, whatever you like to call, you know, the being, is teaching us a lesson in the moment. Mm -hmm. So us as people, we have a, a issue with allowing our emotions to supersede our intelligence. When we put our emotions to the side and we're actually able to use logic, right? In the situation, we say, you know, this is going to happen one way or another. Mm -hmm. Because our minds are one of the most powerful things. Yes. Right? Yes. So 
whether you know it or not, you got to look at what the lesson is in that moment. Mm-hmm. If you can be conscious of what the lesson is in that moment, then you have mastered yourself to a certain extent. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it keeps happening. Yes. Yeah. So it's like anytime you're met with pushback or anybody negating, mm. like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's gonna happen one way or another because right. my mind is set on it. Yes. Right. You know and what I mean? I, <laughs> Definitely. What you said is so real. Like learning learning the lesson and getting to the job done, like what you said at Summer Jam. And and I felt like, you know, I had my own experience with that and, and I I relate to how you said. And even though we we didn't meet there, guess what? We we met what we were supposed to do at that situation because right. maybe you would have lost something else and would have missed upon that. Right, right. And now we get to connect it. And me and this brother going to build. Like, we, we got oh, some yeah, building. Yeah, we we on the fact. same FM frequency. We're we about found to make some magic. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's a blessing. I'm a, I don't want to hog all the questions, you know what I mean? So I know you got one because I do, I do got a question about a boat coming up. So before oh, I get to oh. it, I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> you, you know where I'm going with it. <laughs> so... I'm going to go back to the whole like studio thing because I live in a home recording studio. Me and my partner, we've built over the past several years a home mm. studio. And, and it's like, fire too, yeah. The way, the way we've acquired the studio has been partly through um, friends who are like, yo, I can't keep my guitar in here anymore. Like, like in my apartment, can you hold it for me? Mm. Or stuff like that. Or like um, we've had some some like family friends like – selling off their gear and like mm-hmm. they know that we could put it to better use so like how did you acquire all of this gear here yeah yeah oh i didn't buy this shit <laughs> <laughs> what? i ain't buy this shit i just manage it so you you know you're talking to the wrong guy oh. <laughs> listen the universe put me in a position understanding that i'm more better at managing than i'm at Spending money. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it all the way real. Like, so, for, all right, so fortunately, keeping it real. Fortunately, you know, Julio Medina, Chris Craze, the brother that y'all met that, mm-hmm. that actually put this whole studio together, yeah. they seen the potential in me. They seen what I have to offer. Yeah. So they brought me to this space and they said, yo, you'll be a great addition, mm-hmm. an asset to this space in contrast to a lot of That's liability. amazing. Yeah. So that's how that happened. Yeah. So it's a little different from your situation. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah I was curious because I was like, oh but, my but, God, this is so cool. But, yeah, but, there's, yeah. a, but there's a lesson in that, right? It's yeah. just, and, and it's a kind of key, you know, especially with, with knowing you, right? And I could tell that he has it, is seeing something in it, not only the hunger, but the, the consistency, right? Yeah. They yeah. can tell this person's not going to mess up. So even without purchasing, he has access to all of that to the point he can give out access and, and this and that. You know what I mean? And that's what you, why you shouldn't doubt yourself either. And I think is you have the consistency. And that's not easy to find. And to you, it might be like easy to do, which, which, is, which is good. I don't know how I do it, but <laughs> I try. But yeah, you, you <laughs> basically, you stay true to your word and you're very upfront about it. Like you, Thank you. you like, even, I'll, I'll present her like, a great opportunity that people would just lie and be like, yeah, whether they could do it or not. Mm-hmm. And she'd be like, look, I'm not sure because, you know, this schedule, this and that. Like, she don't come with no BS. She's <laughs> like, yo, listen, I don't care how big the opportunity. I'm going to keep it real with you on what I can commit to and what yeah. I can't. And what you do commit to, you do it. I mean, like, I've learned from personal experience, like, when I've committed to something and then let the person down. And, like, that's weighed on me heavy. Yeah. You know, I think about all the previous experiences where I've said, yeah, I can do it. And then I just don't show up. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you lose a connection. You burn a bridge. I've been there. And it's just like, I'm trying to avoid that. Like, No, you listen, listen. You can't avoid that. No, you well, know why? Let me tell you why, okay. right? So you go through these things, right? Again, hindsight is twenty twenty. Right. Every single situation that you've been in, Mm-hmm. leads you to the point that you're out, you are at right, right now in this moment. Right. Mm-hmm. So whether you burn the if you burn the bridge, it's fine because you are able to build another bridge somewhere else. No, totally. I, I, like you 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 make sense. Um I don't regret anything that happened because how would I be the person I am today without exactly. any of that happening or like Earlier, we were having some technical difficulties before we started. <laughs> How else were we going right. to get to the point where we were at yeah. if we didn't go through those steps? Now we know. Yep. You know? This may be the interview that goes viral. No. Yeah, I'm t- <laughs> I Yo, look, so. I, I, you know, I don't want to downplay none of my guests because I appreciate y'all. Yeah. But this is one of my favorite 
uh, interviews that we've done. I am having like, a I'm, I'm blast. Telling you, That's like, That's honestly. Too. And it's not just because of the Duce connection. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, like, seriously, just, just the keys. And I feel like this is therapeutic for a lot of people. Like, a lot of people are relating to the stories and, and what we're saying. Like, we can't be mad of anything that shaped us, but we can learn from the past. Of course. And then try to grow. Because I've definitely been a person that maybe I've said yes too much. Right. And then when I learned, when I started actually saying no, I became more successful. I don't say no to everything, you know, but I'm very selective because sometimes right. you have to say no. You know what I mean? So balance your yes and your no's. Don't give out yeses you can't keep. And then don't mm. doubt yourself too in a yes. You just got Because you don't want to miss an opportunity. Like, you got to be hungry. Like, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go do it. I'm going to make it happen. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Yep. So that's what it's all about. Now, my question to you, you know, um, I seen something about a boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got Midnight a dope ass uh, yacht party, you know? Yeah, so there's a dope ass uh, yacht party we having on July 2nd. Yes. Um, Hosted by uh, one of my best friends, uh, Will the Go To Guy on Instagram. Oh, he's, ho- oh, yeah, yeah. You know Will the Go To Guy? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, it's, I'm, I'm also, you know, a part of it or whatever the case may be. And it's going to be uh, July 2nd. It's called Super Lit Midnight. Mm-hmm. Right? It starts at, uh, I believe, 12, 12 a.m. till about 3.30 a.m. The tickets are $30. Um, if you go on my Instagram page at hustlerealhall underscore 82, yes. you'll see the fly on my page. Yes. Um, it's going to be a super lit night. We got some dope DJs coming Tap out. In. Some artists coming out. Um, the occupancy is about 300, so get your tickets now. Get it now. It's going to be uh, Fuegalito. Why you have a chance? <laughs> Fueguito. Fue, fueguito. Yeah. Yes, no, that's not a fueguito, Saturday. Fueguito. Fueguito. That's a Saturday. I got. Yeah. We got to try to make that happen. I got to move yeah. some things around. It's gonna be dope. Yeah, Just for sure. Right. We, we got a party with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, turn up. <laughs> oh man, how am I gonna show up to church the next day? <laughs> oh man. I mean, I've done it before. My pastor but, uh, probably watching this. I, I like, you think, better go to I'm, church. At least we start a little late. So shout out to my pastor for starting at like. Two in the afternoon. That is amazing. Because <laughs> he know everybody out turning up the night before. I, I, got, I got church at nine. So, yeah, about that. Yeah. <laughs> Better hope that boat pull up to church. Word. I, I'm going to roll off the boat. <laughs> oh, man. Facts. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nah, this, this is fantastic. I love this. Um. Now, uh, my, my final question for you, right, is as in you, you have a, you're a mogul, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you, you have a mogul mindset, you have a mogul vibration, entrepreneur, and you know how to manage things. So my thing is, what are three keys to success you can give to upcoming entrepreneurs, moguls, slash managers? One is uh, a belief. Mm. Right, belief, believe in what it is that you want to do, yeah, or that you feel like you need to do. Well, I seen Big Sean say something on Instagram the other day. He said, I don't say that I want something mm. or that I need something, he said, I desire, mm. right? And yeah. shout out to him for saying that because that resonated with me. Yeah. So, saying that you desire something mm. actually gives you the fuel you need to move your vehicle. That's interesting because like want and desire are similar words. They are, but they both carry different vibrations. They do. Okay. Because des- desire... Desire is like a fire in you. Mm-hmm. There's like a fire there. Yeah. Not to cut you off, I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. Listen, you got the floor, my brother. I'm, a, I'm here taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel you on, on desire and just resonated differently because it, it it's a it's a passion like... It just goes beyond one. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you articulated yeah. it because I, I just feel it. I, I, some words I can't articulate. I just know how to feel. So, yeah. you know, I'm working on that. Same. So, <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. So, I would say belief first or desire. Mm-hmm. Um, determination. Yes. Being determined on your a definite goal. Yes. Um, and then perseverance. Oh, pers- perseverance. Yeah. Perseverance, yes. Because you're going to have all kind of like blocks mm-hmm. yeah. coming your way. But that's just the universe saying like, I'm going to show you your way through it. 
How could you persevere? Like, I see, man, I see so many people, they have excuses, you know, unfortunately. And, like, this man's story, like, he got out in a year. He's he's doing major things. You know what I mean? It's how do you persevere through obstacles? Do you make an excuse or do you persevere and get it done? You know what I mean? And, look, certain, certain things you're going to miss, right? But how do you make sure you're not missing everything how do you make mm-hmm. sure that you're not stopped what is your plan of action if something stops you here because there's been certain things i wanted to do that might not happen at the time right. but what is your plan of action to continue going to not have this same obstacle right. right you know and one last thing i would say yeah as far as the key is take no as an opportunity Mm. So I got one of my brothers in here, Latif, right? Shout out Latif. Uh, Latif was incarcerated with me. He just finished doing 20 plus years in yeah. prison. Wow. Came home a few weeks ago. So Yo, proud of you, my brother. Yes, well. welcome home. Welcome home. Yeah. But he act, he literally witnessed me go through shit. Mm-hmm. Like literally through the ringer. Yeah, yeah. Consistently while I was incarcerated. Mm-hmm. And constantly, I persevered constantly, constantly, constantly. Yeah. Anytime they told me no, I would... I would literally annoy people mm. <laughs> every time they told me no. Uh, Michael Smith Baker, you can't go to the counselor's unit right now. Okay, cool. And then I'll go talk to another officer and I'll make my way down there. Mm. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Exactly, mm. exactly. So just just keep on, keep your shoulder to the grindstone. And it's all about changing one habit. If you could change one habit, for instance, if you smoke, if yeah, you yeah. stop smoking, things are going to change. Mm-hmm. If you stop drinking, things are going to change. Mm-hmm. If you say, yo, I'm going to just get up in the morning and walk a half a mile, Facts. things start changing. Right. Facts. It's, the, it's the little things. Yes. Right. The little steps that all add on to each other. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Facts. And, and that, that, that's how you do with your goals, too. Like, instead of looking at a big goal, break it down into some small. Like, know where you're going and then break it down into smaller pieces Instead of being like, hey, I want to be a billionaire tomorrow. Like, no, no break it down into smaller pieces. Yeah. You could get there. You want to be number one on the billboard? Break it down into smaller pieces. All right, I got to get this recorded. I got to work with these people. I got to make sure I'm with professional people. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's what I started learning. When I worked on my first album, I'm like, okay. That was one of the first time from mixtapes. And it's cool to work with upcoming people. Like, that's what you want to do. But when you start working with people that this is their profession, Right. Mm-hmm. These are not people that do it part time. This is their profession. Yeah. Like that's how you know you're really getting into the zone. So you, you take it as pieces and you'll get there where you can make it a profession. The um, best the best way I would say it metaphorically mm-hmm. is that you don't jump or every day. Right. Mm. You don't you don't get out the bed and jump to the office where you work. You yeah. walk there. Right? <laughs> You don't jump across the street. You walk across the street. Like, out my knees. Right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. For so real. if, you, if you, you know, you take that physical element and you metaphorize it in how yeah. you should think and how you should move, yep. it's the same mm-hmm. thing. Absolutely. It ain't no different. Yeah. We walk across the street. We walk from, a, from point A to point B. That's how you're thinking and your process should be. Trust your process. Trust the process. Yeah. So, like you said, belief slash desire. Right. The second key what was the second key. One more time. The second key was perseverance. No, no, that was the third. That was the third. Yeah, what yeah. was the second one? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was trying to get. Perseverance, because I remember. Um, um, determination, 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 right? Determination, yes, yes. yes. Thank you, my Yo, brother. Thank you. Appreciate you, Jesse. We uh, got some people. Somebody's listening. <laughs> right? uh, determination and then perseverance. Yes, man. Major keys. Make sure y'all writing that down, because I will. If y'all don't want to take advantage of it, Trust me, y'all going to see us just climbing and climbing because we took advantage of every episode. I'm going to tell y'all the secret with the podcast, and y'all might want to start a podcast too. Like, We interview people we want to work with and learn from. Yeah. You know what I mean? Totally. Like, So that's why we do it, and then we put it on the platform so you guys can have the same advantages. So if there are people that, you know, like you would say, like socially awkward or not going out there, you know, and doing it, well, we're here to reel them in, and all you got to do is watch the video and click like subscribe throw a comment let us know how you love it how you feel about it and if you don't have the love first tv app i don't know what you're doing it's available on all app stores ios android devices so it's so many keys to success on there i'm gonna let Nathika end it with the last uh question then we will um i want to make sure we're promoting all the brands people know where to follow Facts, you so they yeah, can connect yeah. with you directly on there okay 
Um, what would you give to other on? Uh, what advice would you give to other entrepreneurs who are starting out? Believe in your idea. Okay. Yes. Believe, believe in it. Believe in the idea, because an idea is like a. So I always metaphorize. I tell this to people. I told to my man Latif all the time. We was incarcerated. An idea is just like a a, a seed that you put into the the dirt. Mm. It's no different. You have to constantly, uh, you know, men, you know, cater to it. You have to make sure it has water. It's in the right sunlight, mm-hmm. the right season. Like all of these different elements have to take place in order for that seed to grow. Yes, it's the same thing with the idea. The seed is the idea, but you have to constantly add on to it. Give it all of the nutrition, the food, the sunlight, yeah. the water yes. that it needs for it to grow into something. So always continue to add to your idea and move in the direction of that idea Mm -hmm. don't let anyone don't let any weed right yeah spring up and connect itself to your seed because then your seed starts to die Mm -hmm. right and next thing you know you're like i don't believe in that that's the doubt again Uh, i don't believe i can do it i don't think it can happen it's just like if you talk to a plant you know what a plant does the plant takes it exactly mm. talking softly you're giving the plant a certain energy the words the plant starts to grow my girlfriend talks to her plants every morning mm. and they're beautiful so believe in your idea and don't let anything outside of that idea be a weed and take you down facts wow 100 powerful now Major you got key. me thinking about my baby aloe plant like yeah, talk to, I've, I've been nurturing talk to her yeah yeah. Talk to her. Right. Love her. I did that with the animal. I just, I just got a cat. Shout out to Cisco. Oh my god! I've mean, been talking to him. So I was like, I don't even understand. <laughs> now I was not a cat person. Like I really don't rock with cat. But this cat acts like a dog, and it was unusual circumstances. <laughs> but I had to take him in. So, <laughs> I appreciate him. But I, I started talking to him, and you know, yeah. he's doing really good. So I appreciate it. <laughs> but okay. um, yeah, let us know. Okay. Where can we follow you on social media? What is the website so we can get more shirts like this? It's, it's a bunch of stuff. I mean, because <laughs> hustling is a virtue. Yeah, let, let us know all that stuff. All right. So first, um, for anyone who out, out there has someone who is incarcerated, you can go to uh, YKTV, mm-hmm. which means you know the vibes. Yeah. YKTVmagazine.com to purchase all the latest issues of uh, our newest magazines for your incarcerated loved one. Yes. It's all informative based, entertainment based. They're gonna love it. Trust me, they're gonna love you more. Mm. Um, secondly, is hustling is a virtue uh, dot com, mm-hmm. which is our t shirt brand, and we all ha- we also have different types of apparel. Um, thirdly, is our mail order system, which is uh, Parker Reese Listings. Mm. Um, you have to contact us directly, so you can hit me up on Instagram about that. It's about sending like pictures and videos and things like that to incarcerated individuals Mm -hmm. so hit me up on instagram at hustling i mean hustle real hard underscore 82 um also uh exodus transitional community so if there's formerly incarcerated people or people on their way home they can come and tap in at uh, exodus transmission at exodus transitional community and um you know find a space to live Um, they can find work here Wow. And um, also learn a, a, a bunch of skills yeah, along yeah. the way. Um, we're located at uh, 178 East 124th Street in uh, Harlem, USA. Mm-hmm. What else is there? Yeah, that's about it. And shout out. I just want to give a few shout yeah, outs. Yeah, shout yeah. out to uh, Mr. Gyro yeah. from YKTV Magazine. I love you, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to YMVS Shampoo. Shout out to Uncle Booney. Shout out to Chris Craze. Shout out to Julio Medina. Um, shout out to Dren Stahl of, of Duce. Yeah. Um, shout out to Rock Nation. Shout out to my man Ron Blake at Def Jam. Mm. And anybody else I forget, I, re- I know who y'all are, but I just can't remember y'all name right now. Appreciate yeah. y'all. Shout out all of y'all, for real, for yeah, real. All the lessons. And man, make sure y'all support it, not just my man. And my shout out to y'all, excuse me. Shout uh, out to thank Love. Thank you. Appreciate to it. Love First Podcast. Thank shout you out to so Kate Dawn. Shout out to you. Yeah. We know we we we. I appreciate you guys showing up to the to the location and Dude, spreading thank love. Thank you for having. Yeah, us. thank you for having yeah. us. The hospitality. Uh, I mean, for real. Like, I'm just like the hospitality. We got to show is like it got to be crazy because this man that pulled out the red carpet for us. So yeah, yeah. There's no yeah way. first one's we on me. Next one's on you. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> 
We got and, you. And lastly, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm going to end with this. Uh, shout out to all my brothers and sisters locked down. Yeah. Shout see. out to my, my brother Mid. Shout out to my, my brother ha, um, Hakeem. Mm -hmm. um, those are really, really my guys yeah, right there. So, and shout out to any brother and sisters locked for down. Real. You know, try to make it home and tap into the newest issue uh, that we're going to have with Fabio Foreign. For real. Free my brother Duel, man. You know, we shout love you. We're thinking about you on the outside. And as we keep progressing, I know sometimes it gets demotivational, man, just seeing your people have success and you should be there. And you, you will be there. We're praying for you. You know, it's all love. Um, I want you to talk about your, your brands and shout outs before we go to as well. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to, um, to Metzley Shop. Shop. I love Metzley Shop and mm -hmm. her jewelry. Arely's jewelry is amazing. Um, polymer clay, nickel free. Um, I have like really bad uh, eczema and like skin irritation and stuff, but her jewelry has not irritated me at all. Mm. Um, I also want to give a shout out to, since we've been talking a lot about incarceration and stuff, like um, I have a personal experience. My uncle was incarcerated for three years mm. and I know that after he came out of jail, he had struggled a bit to find a job and stuff and like he's working now but it the journey was tough for him so i want right. to give a, a, a shout out to mi tío julian te quiero shout mucho um and uh a shout out to everyone who's believed in me mm -hmm. and a shout out to kwame who's had me on this podcast <laughs> um and yeah just so thank you very much of course man. <laughs> shout, shout out shout out to these two i i, I appreciate y'all for the opportunity not not for you know y'all working with me but for me to work with y'all you know i'm always consistently learning any way that i can i'm thankful for every opportunity um shout out manscape uh you know we got the discount code <laughs> <laughs> in the description <laughs> um and uh you know anybody that that wants to support the podcast you know support the app Definitely reach out. You know, we're always looking for more partners. So if you want to start your podcast, you got a part uh, podcast going on, come over to the app. You know, we're looking for web series, movies, um, music, and we're making sure over all these other platforms, we're not going to say names because we use them for promotional outlets, but we pay a lot better, you know, so bring the content over here and uh, you guys will be in a, in a good situation. But like nothing's a handout. It's all it's all, you know, you put the work in. So we're looking for partners that's ready to put the work in, not just looking for a handout, you know? And we'll do our thing. So make sure you download. No one just download the Love First TV app, but subscribe to it. Pick a plan. Everybody's been going crazy for that annual plan. So make sure you get that. We're dropping consistent keys. And then um on YouTube, make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment. It helps the algorithm, and that's completely free. So I don't know why you're not doing that. It's free. Do it. You know. <laughs> and, uh, follow me on Instagram at the real K to Don. Always trying to build and check out the stories because we're gonna make you laugh. We're gonna give out some knowledge. We're gonna give you some news. So every everything on all of that, we appreciate you for your time. And remember, why hate when you can love first? It's the Love First podcast. Yeah. I've never done ambassador or partnership programs, even though I get a lot of unsolicited DMs from random profiles, because I'm not going to promote something I don't like or believe in. But when Areli of Metsui Shop announced her affiliate program, I literally jumped at the opportunity because I already own some of her jewelry and I truly love them. All of Metsui Shop's jewelry is nickel free and these butterfly earrings were so cute, lightweight, didn't irritate my ears at all and I got so many compliments on them. If you like what you see, head over to Metsui Shop's page and use promo code Natika Music for 15% off your next purchase. Man, wait, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just came to tell you about something that's gonna change your life. Man, it's gonna change your life. The love for Where did you come from? Man, that's that's how important. What you better say something. What is important is the Love First TV app. It's available for all iOS and Android devices. It'll literally change your life if you want to start a business, if you want to get funded. Oh, and just be inspired. I got you right here. So all you have to do is hit subscribe and watch it change your life. Just, just don't hit me. Just hit subscribe. Yeah. Don't cry when I come around. I wanna see smile. Don't cry when I come around. I wanna see smile. You could call me daddy. Cause I always be here to hold you tight in my arms and protect you. You could call me daddy. Cause I always be here to hold you tight in my arms and protect you.
protected. You can see Love First TV inspired me to begin my little dream. And the finance channel helped me get the money to start my little entrepreneur dream. Which is this, as you see, right here. Hello everyone, it's Kwame Dickerson, aka K to Don. I'm the CEO and founder of Love First TV. It's the app that will literally change your life. From our Love First podcast, where we inspire you, give our keys to success. Our finance channel, where we teach you how to start up your business, give funding for your business, and a whole lot more. We have web series, comedy shows, game shows. The list just doesn't stop. And we have a bunch of tutorials that will teach you just about anything. So all you have to do is download the app to your phone, your iPhone or Android device, and then from there you just pick a plan. It's only $5 a month. Or you can sign up for our most popular plan, which is our annual plan. You save 17% on that. It's only $50, that's right, only $50 for the year, and that's a one-time fee. So make sure you sign up and unlock your keys to success today. Love First TV. Yeah, but seriously though, how'd you get into my house, man? Yeah, I mean, that's not important. I okay, if you say so. What up, everyone? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that notification bell for the latest podcasts, music videos, and comedy skits. We got a lot more content coming your way. We here on stage! Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, baby! <laughs> East Coast, no I'm rockin' with y'all. West Coast, no I'm rockin' with y'all. North Side, no I'm rockin' with y'all. South Side, no I'm rockin' with y'all. I'm still ridin' with my day one. I'm rockin' with y'all. Low County, throw your hands up. I'm rockin' with y'all. Long Beach, throw your hands up. I'm rockin' with y'all. Put some bread in the air.